Now our good friends at Apple have a device called an Apple TV. That's kind of a misnamed device because it's not a TV. It's this little thing. You know, it's not, what's well, four inches square and an inch tall? Uh, Apple TV is set up to do a lot of the same things you can do with Netflix, but you can also watch TV shows. Uh, let's go over to TV shows and let's search. And let's just search for 24. I'm an old Keith or Sutherland fan, and it's also an easy search. And if we go down to season seven, season seven they did in HD, and you'll see what options you get right off the bat. We could just start watching day one if we wanted to, or we could look at the other seasons of 24. Go ahead and power, hit that. And it'll show all the seasons are available. And if I really want to watch just one show, let's go back to season seven. Um, yeah, here we are. Um, let's go to scene one here. For a buck ninety-nine, I can watch the single episode, or they've got pricing for an entire season. They also do this with existing shows that are on right now. You don't get to see them the exact same day that they show on network television. I think they pop up the next day. But if you really just wanted to watch a, a given series, you can buy a subscription to the whole series. Now, you do pay for that, but if you're saving money on your cable, you've got hopefully some money in your budget that you can do these kinds of things, and just watch what you want to watch. On, there's some other services on here, and there's another company called Roku that makes a very similar box to that. Roku's got 300 channels. If you want to watch programming from Taiwan, if you want to watch programming from South Africa, they've got a channel for that. And those are all free. Uh, lots of movie channels, a whole lot of television content ready to go. Mm -hmm.